what's up YouTube welcome back to the channel all right so welcome to Tyson's corner this is gonna be a, a quick drive through Tyson's corner on FSD beta so the car is in control here all right so hope everyone watching this is having a great day um, this is gonna be Tyson's Corner in October of 2022, like mid-October. Uh, I like to show some some of my friends and family that were here uh, visiting me years ago um, the updates of Tyson's because we always bring family here to Tyson's and there's so much to do over here and with the malls and the lounges and I got the Whole Foods over here. They're steady building and, and then the Metro it's pretty cool um it's it's a it's a nice development um and it, it's usually pretty chill to hang out in the tyson's area so yeah this is gonna be a, a quick drive through but yeah back to fsd it's in control here anytime you see the blue line you know the car is driving so yeah hope everyone watching this is having a great day Wow, that Lumen building is, wow, awesome. Yeah, the uh, property value here is insane. It's like New York. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But little fun fact though, um, the very first Apple store ever was opened right here in Tyson's Corner Mall. And Steve Jobs himself actually unveiled the store and opened it. And that's actually like this left turn right here coming up. But I'm not going there, even though the car indicated we're just passing by. But yeah, I just wanted to show everybody Tyson's Corner. Um, but yeah, a little cool fact, that's the very first Apple store in the world. Um, so it's just cool to know Steve Jobs was here obviously to uh, unveil it back uh the year i'm not sure uh definitely anyone watching this check that out on uh, google or wikipedia and uh drop it in the comments if possible what what year that was i'm not sure but yeah for any locals or anyone um not from this area if you ever visit dc um tyson's is a is a nice kind of getaway from dc i guess you could say by um, kind of getting all the benefits of the city but still being here in the suburbs. You got like uh, really cool places like Fogo de Chao and uh, Chima. Chima is awesome. And uh, you know, all those nice restaurants are, are gonna be over here. Uh, Ruth Chris, Capitol Grill. So yeah, definitely more of a premier spot. There's a uh, Tyson's 2 also that has like Saks Fifth and all those uh, high-end designer stores like Gucci, Louis, whatever. But yeah, just the regular Tyson's Mall is pretty cool. That's I don't go to Tyson's too. But one thing they're lacking in um, Tyson's is electric chargers. They have, they have them over in Tyson's too, but um, they need more at the, at the Tyson's Mall. Um, there's a supercharger station right here. We're gonna pass it in just a couple lights. And uh, pretty much everyone in this area goes there and it's, it's always packed. Thank God I don't have to rely on that place because if I did, I would be steady waiting, um, you know. That's why you have to figure out your own charging solution. But yeah, we do have a Tesla dealership right here um, on Tyco Road in Tyson's. And that thing has been there for a while that's actually kind of um, not where I got the car from but I guess that's where the people work that delivered the car to um, yeah out of the Tyson's location so really cool people yeah shout out to the Tyco location they were really awesome for the delivery um, it was a it was a super smooth process they walked me through like you know all the 
panels throughout the car kind of uh quick beginners you know what to expect and stuff so really nice people the delivery team um all around I, i'm pretty sure it's pretty good but yeah shout out to the the, the tyco tesla dealership here in tyson's a lot of t's for you right there so yeah that that's tyson's corner for you all here um i hope you like this video please hit that like button if you enjoyed it um subscribe for more you know tesla content dmv content um fsd beta you know i like to give you guys glimpses of what the autonomous driving is capable of since this is still in beta program um I think, you know, I'm just going to be pretty bold with my prediction here, but, you know, the cyber truck is right around the corner, so I'm, I, you know, I kind of plan, I hope to be, no one knows the future, but hope to be a, a future cyber truck driver, definitely, but my guess is when the cyber truck releases officially, it's going to be um, available with FSD out the box, um, which means fsd will be out of beta by that point you know my guess is that will go hand in hand uh based on the time frame that elon spoke about you know um in regards to fsd i'm just kind of matching them up with the cyber truck because just imagine a self-driving 500 mile range truck just drops in the market that can outperform the f-150 and Pretty much you know any workers truck out there man that's gonna really mess and disrupt a lot of things I think you know people don't realize with the cyber truck not just I that's not really the issue it's not that people don't realize it's just that I think it's something that's gonna grow on people personally that's my prediction um, because it's one of those things as, as far as design goes like when they put out a design, it's supposed to like last for like 10 years or whatever. Plus, um, you know, for example, the Model 3, since it's been out 2016, 17, you know, compared to like a 2022, 2021, um, you can't really tell the difference. So yeah, that's the thing. Like, you know, it's slight minor hardware upgrades within the car, but as far as the body style goes, it's pretty much the same. So yeah, that's, um, it's going to be really interesting with the Cybertruck given this, um, type of design. So yeah, my guess is, you know, people are going to like it down the line, just like what happened with like the, the Model S Plaid because I know when, when the S was first released, you know, in um, 2012 or whatever, back then, first of all, you know, if you were following Tesla, um, you know, th there's a, a lot that's, you know, changed and it's, it's crazy to see the, you know, the, the road and the path that they've taken within the automotive industry as well as, um, I guess you can say um, the whole IT world just in general as far as like, uh, yeah, hardware, software, and everything related. It's hard to put them just as like a car company, you know, they, they, they do a lot more and it just kind of relates to cars. I can almost say that like this is like um, a preview of what the robot may be capable of. Who knows? So yeah, we're on uh, 66, and notice how FSD switched over to navigate on autopilot. I have it turned off on highways, which is why back on the exit it was trying to force its way out of the you know exit, but I had to take over. So that's the reason why. And if you know the route you want to take, always set it before you start driving. Um, especially, you know, if you know you're gonna get on a highway or if there's tolls involved, you can. It's just like a real quick. You just go settings, navigation, and then boom, avoid tolls. You know, just like that. So 
Yeah, always uh, try to be prepared, especially um, using full self-driving. It operates best when you have the navigation set. It kind of goes hand in hand, so um, yeah. But it does work without it, though. It just doesn't, it's just not psychic. All right, so pretty much here at my destination. Um, want to thank everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. A uh, little glimpse of Tyson's, but now I'm on my way to Arlington. So, yeah, thank you again for watching this video. Hope, uh, hope you all have a wonderful day.